Hello everyone! I'm here to try out this new butterfly mold that I got and I ordered this from Amazon. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this with mica powders in all the little different areas and see what kind of effect that we can get um, for this to turn out. I think that it's just super cute and it would be fun to either hang up on the wall or, um, you know, have it sitting out somewhere. So I've got two different sizes of um, brushes I think I'm going to try to use. The bigger one maybe for some of that bigger area and this one for some of the smaller area. And I'm going to go ahead and get started. I've mixed up some resin. It is my um, Naked Fusion Diamond Clarity. And this does kind of make a mess, but I'll show you what I do to kind of get rid of the excess. Seems to work out pretty well. If you're new to doing this, you just put your paintbrush, your dry paintbrush, into your, you can pour some, a little bit of your mica powder out onto, into the lid or, or something, but it, I find it easier just to use the bottle. I'm using Let's Resin mica powders today. This one is in black. So I want my little circles to be black and his antenna. I want my colors that are gonna surround it to just pop and the black a lot of times will let that happen. are going to be black as well. Okay, so I think that's about all that I want to do with the black, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take my little baby wipe with it. It's got a bit of alcohol on it and clean off my brush real quick so when I go into the next color it won't bleed in. And this, since I'm using a little bit of alcohol, this should just dry really quickly. It's already dry, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tip my mold over upside down and pat it into the into my little garbage over here, and maybe just give it a quick little blow over to see if it I can get that all off of there. So that works pretty well for the all the excess big chunks of mica powder. So now I can just take my towel here and just wipe it clean. And sometimes I wait till I'm all done with this before I do this part. But because I'm going to be um, kind of painting around in these areas, I kind of want to get it done sooner than later. And you know, if there's a few speckles of uh, black. I don't mind that so much because I feel like that's kind of sometimes actually happens in some of those butterflies that you see. I do want to get this though. Clean out that little circle. And these little things here. Okay. Alright. So now I think I'm going to do, the wings are going to be a darker orange here, and then I'm going to do a brighter orange up higher. This is kind of a reddish orange, it just says plain orange, and this one says golden orange, so it's a difference in those. Try to fast forward some of these things when it gets repetitive, but uh, forgive me if I if I um, if I don't get that done. Sometimes you, you feel free to fast forward. 
sometimes it's kind of fun to watch the whole thing. Relaxing maybe for some of you. Another thing I'm thinking about is what color that I want to fill in my butterfly with. If I want to use like white or black or what I think will make this colors all kind of pop. Probably not black, right? Since I've got the black on here. So maybe a white, but I'm not going to want it to be see-through. I do know that. Oh, let's see. I think we'll have this color also kind of go down this way. Okay, so I'm gonna tip this over, try to get rid of some of this excess. Okay, so that one worked a bit better. Just do a real quick cleanup on it. I'm going to clean off my paintbrush again here the mica powder that orange off of there and now I'm going to start with the golden orange for big parts of this might even try this brush just a bit here this big brush I have to be really careful so this doesn't go blowing all around but it can really cover a lot more ground this way Okay, looks like I forgot a dot there of black in this little hole. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of my excess orange and see how it's looking after we do that. All right, it's looking pretty good. Oh, you guys, I think this is looking really pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this part out to remind me that I don't believe I need to pour resin all that high. I don't want to cover it completely in resin. I want this, I think the top of the antenna is where my cutoff is. And this might help remind me not to go overboard with my pouring. Save a bit of resin, huh? Okay. Okay, so we've used um, the black and the two oranges, and I was going to do a bit of yellow. Think about the purple. I was going to do this body in bronze, but I'm thinking it needs a little bit of a brighter color, so I'm going to try this, and I'm going to go back to my smaller paintbrush. Maybe just do this bit in here. It's going to be so colorful. I'll just keep his body the same color.
Okay, that's it for the purple. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn this over. All right, gosh guys, it's looking awfully pretty. I think the colors are gonna be just beautiful in here. Excited to see this, clean off my paintbrush. Get that purple out of there. Okay, so I think now we're gonna go with this bright yellow. This is um, just plain bright yellow. And do the little circles in here. And let's see here, I've got a bit, some more orange here. I'm going to paint a little bit over this since whatever I put here is what is going to be picked up from the resin. And this will be the front, of course, of our project. And uh, well, I might actually even try to do a bit of yellow across this little line. I don't know if that will be picked up or not, but kind of fun to see. A little bit here. Give it a little bit of a, a little bit of something else in color. All right, now oh, we're almost done with this. So get rid of my extra yellow. Okay. So I think what I'll do now. We will go ahead and just use this this bronze, okay? A little bit of a darker color, but I'm gonna go ahead and paint the bottom part of this with this bronze. Give it a little bit of something besides just all the bright colors. I think the bronze is really a pretty color. Blends well with the oranges. All right, now I'm just gonna touch up my black real quick after I shake this out. Oops, I forgot, I forgot a little bit here. Get a little bit of a blank area, it looks like. And on both sides, there's a little bit of this bronze. Just get creative and do your own thing with these. With all these mica powders, you can so many just different colors you can do. Okay, I don't think I really see too much white. All right, I'm going to shake this out. going to touch up my black and then we're going to pour the resin and then we're going to be done. I do need to figure out what color I want this to be though. Gosh, I just don't know what would be the best. Just a bit of the black in here. I want those antenna to be covered. This little dot in here I missed earlier. Okay, all right, I'm going to shake this out. Time.
Okay. So, gosh, you guys, what do you think for the background color of this? I don't know if I should go black. That make the colors really stand out. I think I will do black. And then we'll see what happens with that. So I've got resin mixed up. I'm going to mix it with some of my um, my Handy Art India ink. The velvet black makes a really great base. And hopefully my resin's not getting too warm here. It doesn't take a whole lot to make it completely opaque. That's why I just really love the India inks. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and pour this really carefully here. My resin's getting pretty warm, but it's still not very thick. So I'm going to pour it really slowly into my tuna. Hope that it just kind of goes in there. I had an overhang there, overage. This will cure a very glossy, shiny black. And I might need a bit more here. Looks like I'm a little short on my to cover everything. And that's okay. It's a quick fix. Got some other some more resin here made up. I can just go ahead and mix up some more black. Okay, put in a few more drops there. This ink does a great job but it's like I think like I've said before it's definitely ink so if you get it on your clothes or on your hands it definitely will stick to you like ink stains okay my resin is definitely getting hot so let's see there go ahead and fill this in Go to the top of the mold, not too full. There, I don't want to go over the top of the antenna. All right, so I'm going to go over this with my heat gun real quick, and then I'm going to set it aside to cure, and I will bring you back to demold it. I'm excited to see. Hello, everyone. I am back to demold our butterfly. It is pretty cured. And I am so excited to see it. All the mica powders, hopefully it all came off here like it's supposed to. Let's see, it's gonna come out of this mold pretty easily, it looks like. Let's see, about getting the antenna out of there in this part. I just have to use my stick here and try to get this part to go down. I'm gonna use the flat end, not the pointy end and see if I can like help dislodge this a bit. There we go. There we go. Oops. Always knocking over something, aren't I? Okay, let's see. So excited to see this butterfly. So excited. Come out of there. All right, you guys. All right, are you ready to see this? Here it is. Look at that. Wow, look at that. That is just really beautiful. Not what I was expecting at all, considering we used this orange for this part of the wings, and we used this orange for this part, and it turned out kind of a bronze. Can you see? Can you see the colors? They're actually really beautiful. It could be maybe because we used the black background. It probably would have looked completely different with white behind it. 
But you know what? It is really pretty. I really love it. What do you think? You think this was a win? You think we should have chosen the other? This was the yellow pigment powder. I mean, the uh, mica powders here. This was the bronze and the orange. This all kind of just blended in. You can kind of see a difference here in the yellow. This was a, this is a brighter yellow. I don't know if you can really see all the colors, but really is pretty. Well, thanks everyone for joining me on this project. I hope you enjoyed it and I am anxious to hear if you try it. I'd love to see how it turns out or at least give me a comment and let me know how it turns out. And thanks. I will see you the next time.